So here's the finished product. Basically, it's a uh, 27 horse husk burner grader wannabe pusher, more likely. So first thing I can say is you definitely want to have tire chains on it, otherwise it's not going to push very well. It is not a bulldozer, not really even a grader, hardly. So raise and lower the blade with this. I went ahead and put a bumper on here. I got some grade five bolts down here. We're gonna have to see how this holds out. This frame is sheet metal. I think it's stronger than John Deere. Uh, that's why I bought this one. Uh, some of the components were a lot stiffer. Uh, so grade five bolts, and uh, you know we'll see if I have to put another strengthener plate here. I wouldn't use this day in and day out, of course. So one of the things you need is, you know, you put something like this on there, you don't want it to get hung up on something and flip your lawnmower over. So I've got stops, as you can see right here. This all schedule 40 inch and a half pipe. So that'll stop. And then I can, you end up using it up and down a whole lot with this bar. So I just, uh, that's why I got such a long bar on it. So of course my, I can remove this pin, take this whole assembly off. Uh, it's just one inch pipe, little stop plate, small thread and a nut, bolt, lock washer on there. So I got a stop plate on both sides, one under there. Now you want to make sure your lawnmower is on a flat level surface when you make all these attachments, keep everything square. Uh, my pivot point, so what I've got is if I want to go straight, of course I do like that. So I've got my two pins, just some uh, rebar. So if I want to pivot this, I can just do one of these. Drop the pin back down the hole. And it's ready to go. One thing I did notice, you see my blade's a little bit too long over here. So make sure, actually instead of thinking it's too long, this whole thing should have been a little bit higher. So if I would have been higher off the ground, I wouldn't have had that issue. So if I do another one of these, it's definitely going to be higher. But I did keep it low because of torque issues. Because the front of your blade, of course, is going to take all the force from whatever you're doing. It's going to try to rotate this down. So what I did for my hand, Weld a piece of inch and a half on there. Inch and a half will fit inside of two inch. And I made me basically a washer down on the bottom of this for when I lift it up. Um, I should have made this whole thing about to right here because as it is, this washer tends to drag the ground some. So I may end up modifying this later or something like that. So if you make one of these, keep it up to here, you know, half inch or three quarters of an inch off the ground. Make sure you really weld this good. Most of your force is on this, of course. Matter of fact, almost all your force. So, when we line this up, you put both your pins in. Just take it easy with it and uh, go along. And you know, this is just for pushing stuff around. It's not a dozer, it's not going to dig around. But when you're done, at least with this setup, you can pull your pin over here, take your bolt out, slide your pin out, and then you just got a line more with a good bumper on it in case you hit something or you know have to pull something out. I may put a weld a couple of hooks on here, so if I got to pull something, I can grab it with a chain or whatever. And uh, anyway. I didn't see any other real lawnmower bulldozer slash graders on YouTube. Uh, dragon stuff tends to work a little bit better for grading, but this also uh, seems to work pretty good. So maybe this will give some ideas, and if anybody comes up with something that works really good, share it. Thanks.